Okay. So, these are the shoes. These are Nina's shoes. And I got these for, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't this beautiful? I got them for $9 through Craigslist. Let me tell you why they were only $9. They made sure to let me know that there was they're brand new, but there was a um there's a defect. But I don't care. Right there, you see it? I don't care because my dress is going to be long. Ball gown long. Well, not ball gown. Um floor length long. And now these are my shoes. <laughs> no, no. And these are my wedding shoes. But this matches my theme. And I love these shoes. And both shoes are fairly high, but they're very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Okay. Y'all, listen what I found. Only people from Texas know what that is. That's Swisher House. Anyway, my glasses are dirty as hell. Y'all, God answers prayers. Sometimes he answers them right away. Sometimes there's a delay. But whatever it is, it's according to his will and it's right on time. I was very nervous about returning to work. I was sure that my anxiety was going to return back. And I just thought that, oh my God, I'm going to have all this work to do. I'm not going to be able to do it. It has been so calm and collect. Yesterday, I had a meeting with the woman who was covering for me while I've been out. And she's like, you know what? First of all, she asked me how I was doing. She was very sincere. She doesn't know physically what's going on with me. I just tell people. They knew I had an asthma attack um, because I had I was in the hospital. But I'm not that person, I should say. Um... Anyway, she was very sincere asking how I was doing. Then she was like, you know what? You get married in four more days. I got this. Don't worry about work. Um, everything is going okay. I just have a couple of questions. I want to learn how to do a couple of things that you do so that I can help you a little bit more. And I got it. I parked the appointment in today. Um, but I'm going to do a house tour for you guys. Look, today is going to be, this week is going to be cl the cleanest it has ever been in a long time so since JB's at school I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a house tour when I get back uh, I'll probably wait till my man leaves yeah I'll wait till he leaves so he ain't you know in my damn way um yeah I'll just give y'all a house tour. I won't do all the house like I won't go I don't know, some people be really doing the most going in the closet my closet is a mess I'll probably do all the entire house with the exception of our closets because it's like whatever um, and maybe I like our, our guest bath, I mean our master bathroom. I mean, I'll do a quick scan, but, and this is going to be a family house tour. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> you're going to see toys. You're going to see dishes. Let me go get my nails done. I'm going to have an attitude problem because she put this wrong, she put this nail on wrong. And it's fairly new, so it's going to be a itch to take off. So I'm going to ask them what, they, what can they do to fix this. Because there's like a gap. How the hell did she do that? Oh, y'all, I'm out of the nail shop. Look, Tina and Tom got me in my feelings, child. Tina, Tina, congratulations, honey, honey. Hugging me and kissing me. Y'all almost started crying. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to react on my wedding day. You never know. I'm more excited than anything. But I don't think it's enough excitement to get me to cry until what she did just then. If my damn nail technician could almost bring me to tears. We ain't going to even try to pronounce it. But it's, it's the iridescent color but yeah I'm liking it I'm really am liking it even as soon as I walked out someone complimented me on my nails they're very very pretty um but look, I showed Tom my nails he was, he was he saw that it was it was lifted he was like who did that and I said Shh. I was like she did right behind you <laughs> I did one of those he was like her I damn Tom can we can we like whisper about it All right, so I'm going to do a quick house tour and I'm out of breath I'm breathy because I wanted to hurry up and do this before Mr. Man gets back and he see all these damn windows open so this is the kitchen just very basic and honey I like I said I didn't stage this it's just clean um <laughs> one thing I want to say is that um when you have a home everyone's like oh yeah it's great to be a homeowner but you have to keep your home up so our stove and our dishwasher is new the microwave is also new we plan on getting a new refrigerator here in like two or three more years or so um the floors 
are new. The towel and the bathrooms and the kitchen are new. Um, so yeah, this is a kitchen. One of the reasons why I wanted this kitchen, this house, excuse me, is because of this huge island. Yeah, you see that's open. This huge island, you guys. This is where I do all my prep work at, all right? So circling around, this is our little informal dining room area, which is very basic. Yeah, look, I don't care. My purse is still up here. This is our den. Let's see if I can turn on a light. My floors are not done, so yeah, this is the den. Uh, any of the pictures that you see, well, most of the pictures that you see, I purchased through Ross. Yeah, I love Ross, you guys. This is our fireplace that we will never use because it's always hot here. Um, it's a lovely couch. And yeah, I really do like dark wood with a pop of color. So you'll see that throughout the house. Um, this end table is one of the pieces that I, oopsie, I walked on this and this is wet still. Um, I spray painted this a couple of weeks ago and it still looks good. Okay. So yes, during the holidays, I like to redo this area and the um, dining room area to match up. I may later on do a quick, I don't know how I'm gonna word it. I want to decorate my mantle, but I don't wanna spend a lot of money, so I'm thinking about just going to the Goodwill and Dollar Tree. Um, we have two doors that live, lead out to our backyard. The backyard is dirty right now, but I'll show y'all anyway. The backyard is dirty because my fiance is, and this is a bookshelf over here. Um, my fiance is putting together, he's cleaning our pool. We do have an above ground pool. It is huge. It is five feet deep, 20 feet wide. So we have a fairly large backyard. It goes all the way back here. Six foot tall brick walls so no one can see what the hell we're doing so yeah we have a huge ladder to get into the pool jv will be taking pool lessons again this year um but we keep the ladder out so but hey children are smart we want to make sure that he gets swim lessons so that he's not getting in a pool all right and yeah we have a little patio set we don't really be outside that much and so this brings us to the living room now it's so funny when they sold us when we first saw this house this light fixture was in here where the ceiling fan is sitting now and i was like oh hell to the now we're gonna have to need a ceiling fan it's hot here so <laughs> my man ended up putting a ceiling fan let me turn off these lights y'all because like i said i don't want him coming back and be like why is this stuff all open um yeah oh real quick these pictures not this picture is kind of crooked it's gonna drive me crazy this picture, I, these pictures my mom gave me when I first moved into my first apartment. And this is home interior. Do you guys remember home interior? My mom used to sell that stuff like crazy. It was a, it was a concept very similar to Tupperware where it, the more you sold, the more points you would get. And you could use those points to purchase home interior. So yeah, this is a home interior piece. That picture back there is also home interior. Um, all of these plants and stuff like that. I got a garage sale. Look, I thrift shop. Okay. So this is making our way into the living room. My floors are still drying a little bit, but I don't care. I am <clears throat> still on the fence with this, <laughs> this floors, you guys, the wood floors. We just had these put in. It hasn't even been a year. I told my man I wanted something dark. He found the darkest way. To, it's actually called African mahogany, but it is lighting up. You can see in some areas, it's starting to light up. But as you see here, everything shows up. So I'm literally, I'm cleaning these floors twice a week. It is so annoying, but they are absolutely beautiful. Um, we had this put in, this marble put in two years ago. So yeah, this is the front area. It gets really hot in here because you can see how, how, you can hear my voice echoing. Um, the ceilings are vaulted all the way in here. We have these windows tinted, but it is still extremely hot in this house. So this is the living area. This is um, a table that I spray painted. I need to redo it because it's already, I didn't do the bottom that well. <clears throat> All the pictures you see here, I got from Ross. Some greenery. This is my wall collage. One of the things, and this picture is kind of crooked. See, I told you I didn't really say this. Um, one of the things 
that was a challenge for me moving back in. Those of you who are new to my channel, my man and I briefly separated last year. I moved out, I took everything, child. But I helped him to decorate the house. So <clears throat> we went to Ross and I got him a couple of stuff. Well, he paid for it. But one of the challenges moving back was I had to figure out how to, what I'm gonna do with all these pictures. So I ended up doing a huge wall collage over here with some items that he had and some stuff that I had. This bench is from Wayfair. And this side table is from Wayfair. I use this, um, basket for JB's toys but don't be fooled honey because behind this couch I scoot all his other big toys it's scooted behind there this rug is awesome from Wayfair so yeah I really do like the archways um and the uh entryways and even right here where you see uh, these two little I don't even know what you recall this before I had JB I had vases here and Mira's tall vases honey you can't do that with a child so yeah, I had to get rid of those tall bases. So one of the things I had to do um, was create myself an office. So I got me a corner desk. And so um, over here, you can see some filing cabinets. I'm gonna start storing JB's homeschooling stuff back here. Since I've been so busy with the wedding and health stuff, I really haven't done a lot of homeschooling activities with JB. Um, and I do feel bad about that, but I'm gonna get on top of that come next month. And I may do a separate video on that. Um, so yeah, just getting that. I kept everything, of course, because I created a curriculum. Um, all of our diplomas, child. This is a hundred thousand dollars worth of loans. And I'm not even frightening you. That's between him and I. Um, this is just some of the off end. He just, for some reason, he went and bought a bunch of random pictures. So I just put all that stuff in here. I'm like, honey, that that that's not gonna go anywhere. Some of this stuff, you guys will make. You may um see from you may remember excuse me from my apartment tour this is a hallway area again some more pictures here this is going to lead us to the guest bathroom and you will recognize um because this is the stuff i had in my bathroom so yeah this is the guest bathroom just very simple do not ask me why JB has four toothbrushes. I don't I don't question him, y'all. So yeah, this is the guest bathroom. And now we have the guest bedroom. Do not, do not wash your comforter at home. I did it and it messed up the lining at the end. You see how it's kind of bunching up there? I should have taken it to the dry cleaner. But lesson learned, I will never do that again. So this was my oasis for a long time, you guys. I made this a very feminine room, a very girly room. You can still see touches of it. I got these two twin photos here from Michael's. And then I typed in this clock. This is this cute little wall clock that I got from the Goodwill. Again, thrift shopping. Even some of these little accents pieces here you can see. I made this gift basket for my parents when they fly in. Okay, yeah, and that's basically it. Um, a bookshelf there with some of the stuff on my little side business. And let me go ahead. We had, um, cause it gets like I'm, I'm, my titties are sweating back here. I, I shouldn't say that. I'm sweating back here. It gets really warm in this back side of the house, and so we had ceiling fans put in the um the guest bedrooms we already had one in our bedroom but we didn't have any in the guest bedroom so yeah this is the guest bedroom now we're okay so now we're in jb's bedroom jb now has a big boy bed that honey it looks like this because <laughs> jb is a toddler and he jumps on his bed all the time i try to make it up as good as possible but yeah this is this is this is it um if you remember i had these circles they are basically just styrofoam circles that i put fabric on and these are simple fabric patches that i got from um from walmart the smaller ones the bigger ones i got from joann's and i got these wall art decals is that how you say it decals that jay i got from the dollar store and you can see some race tracks here. Another J. Do not spend a lot of money on decorations, you guys. I already had these picture frames, and all I did was print out that stop sign and this slow children crossing from Staples. Yeah. The only thing I really spent money on was this. These three pictures that I purchased through um, Wayfair. They were only $25, so you can see his name there, Jabessa. And then I reused some 
license place that we had. And then he has his little bookshelf here. With I put some of his clothes in. He does have stuff over here, girl. I always keep his stuff out for what he's wearing the next day and then for night just to keep me organized. And then we have his bookshelf. Little bookshelf. He wanted it here. He dragged it over here. I did have it over here and stuff, but he, JB did this himself, y'all. I'm not going to argue with JB. <laughs> so let me close. So this is the master bedroom. Um, I got this bedding from Wayfair. This bedding, you guys, was originally a little over $300. I got it for, I think it was $60. Yeah, so really, really pretty. We've had this slave bed for a while, actually. Um, we need to get new mattresses. It's probably something we're going to do. Next year, you can see these vases. No, lamps, girl. The lamps I purchased through Wayfair. They're very pretty. Okay. And then you can see that chest that I got from Amazon. I do not recommend that. <laughs> so the only other thing I want to get from this room is a bench to go along this wall so that I could put the pillows up. Bedroom. Yeah. So yeah, this is what it looks like from the back. I really like this. I wanted a romantic feel. So yeah. And I'm really not going to go into our bathroom, which is a regular bathroom. I mean, his and her sink. I'm not going to go into our closet. Um, you can see some little decoration here. Not a lot. I didn't want to do a lot in here. This is the shower, bathtub and the toilet is in there. This is the his and her, which is really a her. Guys, I wanted to do a quick house tour. And look, now I can hear him coming back home. Um, Cause this is the cleanest our house will ever be. If you notice, we have TVs everywhere except for our bedroom and JB's bedroom. We will never want to do that. Um, I used to sleep with the TV on for the longest and it actually messed up my sleep pattern or sleep. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.